Whenever you're describing a sampling distribution, you want to talk about the shape, center, and spread. Since our sample size is 50, which is greater than 30, the central limit theorem applies, and the shape of the sampling distribution will be approximately normal. The center of our sampling distribution is going to be at the true mean, 210 seconds. To calculate the standard deviation, we need to check the 10% condition. Since 50 songs is far less than 10% of the total 8,000 songs, the 10% condition is met, and we can calculate the standard deviation. To figure out part B, we have to calculate what the maximum average song length can be to still squeeze all 50 songs into 3 hours. In 3 hours, there's 180 minutes, and that turns out to be 10,800 seconds. Since all 50 songs have to fit within that 10,800 seconds, we need our average song length to be no more than 216 seconds. So now we need to calculate the probability that our average song length of the 50 songs, x bar, is less than 216 seconds. We know we can do a normal calculation, so let's sketch a normal curve. The center of our curve is at 210. To figure out where 216 is, let's calculate a z-score. The z-score is 0.88. That's about right here. So 216 and less is this entire shaded region. Now we're going to do a norm CDF calculation on our calculator. Our lower limit is negative infinity, since we're interested in any sample mean less than 216. Our upper limit is going to be 216. Our mean is 210. And our standard deviation is 6.788. This gives us a probability of approximately 0.8116. So the probability that Marla will have time to listen to all 50 songs on her road trip is about 0.8116. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.